Welcome to Copic in the Craft Room. Michelle um, Houghton here, and we are going to be coloring up another snow image here in January. I've got one more, and then we'll kind of swap themes. But I felt like it was definitely that season here in Iowa where I am at, so it makes me feel like I'm in the appropriate mode. Um, this is an adorable image by Stamping Bella. And this one is Valerie with Pup, and the pup is buried down here in the snow. So I will be coloring her up and doing some sky. On this particular sky, I'm gonna work from some darker colors into lighter colors in the horizon, or from the horizon up, just to give us a little bit of a difference. I'm trying to do some different um, background sky techniques um, as that was requested. And I think that's really it. I'm really just coloring these days. And so again, if there's specific techniques as I find them, I will certainly pass those along. But if there, and there's things that you're missing or want to see again, things that I've even already done, please request that in the comments on the YouTube page or over at Copic in the Craft Room, either one. And I will do my best to get those taken care of. All right, so I will speed us up and zoom us in and we will get going. So I'm going to start with an E11 and I'm coloring the skin tone with that and then E13 is going to be for the shadows. Obviously we're seeing a very small portion of face. Um, I'm also touching the wrist with E13 but I gave a little bit of shadow to the um, left side of her nose and around the edge of that left side. Then BV25 is going in on the hair and a touch of BV29 is also going in on the hair and then I'm going in with RV. 10 or 10 and filling in the coat. Um, this is one that I did not plan ahead of time so you're going to see me go back and forth with this group of colors um, quite a bit because I'm going as I color I'm adding more. Um, RV11 or RV11 is next to do the first layer of shading that's kind of my mid-tone and my light source hopefully you can already see is coming in from that right hand side. RV13 is going to be my deepest um, color or my deepest shadows. It's not going to get real dark. So RV11 or 11 to do some blending, pulling that RV13 into those areas so it smooths out. Doing that with flicks and small circles. And then the RV10 is going to come back and blend some of those areas into the highlight. B63 is what I'm going to color with the heart, the buttons, and then I'm doing the broad stripes on the scarf. And I wasn't totally sure yet what I was going to do with that. So RV10 comes back out for the stripes on the scarf, and then RV13. Notice I skipped the midtone, and part of that is because that area is so small. RV10 again to blend, and then I'm going to do the bulk of the hat. So not the little pattern, I'm kind of coloring around that if, as best I can. And then RV13 for the shading again. Notice same light source up to that upper right side. RV10 to smooth that out a little bit. If I get on those little dots, it's not a big deal. B63 is going to fill in the pom-pom. And then all those little swirls on her hat. I'm also going to do the gloves. So again, this is where I've kind of gone back in and added RV13 to add some shading on the gloves and RV10 to add that highlight and smooth that out. B63 on kind of the leggings and boot edges. And then I decided I needed a darker B, but I didn't have one at my table, so I ran to get one. B66 is what I come back with. And that's going to be the shading on the scarf and all those little circles. All I'm doing on those little swirls is a little C in that lower left corner. A few flicks and little dots on the pom-pom. Then a little bit down on the leggings. B63 to smooth that out on the scarf. It's going to, and I don't necessarily need to do a whole lot on those swirls. It's really more about smoothing out the scarf. And it sat for a while, so it took a little bit of work to get that smoothed out. The RV10, I'm going back and hitting the coat again. It looked like it wasn't quite smooth, so I wanted to hit that area again. BV20 
And then the colorless blender is actually what I start with. I'm going to base the snow and get it all wet. And then I'm going to come in with some dots and some little streaks and squiggles with my BV20 on the snow area. I want to show that it's textured. And then the B141, sorry, B41 is next. Again, dots, some um, squiggles, and, and some um, streaks. And then the colorless blender. I, again, I did not practice this, and so I'm playing really truly. B41, and I did a light coat, really light brush across the top. Colorless blender again. And I'm trying to kind of smooth it out and give it still that textured look, but I want to lighten it up, and that's what I was doing. E23 is going to fill in the dog, and really all we're seeing, obviously, is those little ears and tail above the snow. E25 for a tiny bit of shading, and then e an E27 to add just the darker and up the leash. Then I decided I wanted to add more texture to the snow. Now the snow at this point is dry. And now I'm going back in and adding dots with my colorless blender. These I'm holding down at least two or three seconds in each spot and kind of squiggling it, just kind of circling or pressing it. So it's like a bigger dot. And then I actually go back and hit those areas at least two or three times. And you can kind of see as it dries what's happening. Now I'm going to go over the top edge because I'm going to fade out my sky. So that was colorless blenders to start and then B with a quadruple or four zeros after it. Now you're going to see some black lines start to show in the sky. I'm going to explain that at the end, but just so you know what's going on, I have um, I stamped that image on the other side of the cardstock first. So that's showing through for right now. B double zero or B zero zero is next. I'm flicking that into the B with four zeros. I flipped over to my chisel nib. This is still a B00, and I'm filling in most of that sky. It's going to go all the way down. I get slower as I go around her, but because I'm filling in a broader area, I broke out that chisel nib so it can color a little faster. B12 is going to be the last color. Look how I'm flicking that color into the B00, and this is where I'm going to get those little bottom corners. So. The sky closest around her is going to be a little darker, and then it flicks outward from her, so it's a little bit of a halo effect. And then I'm going to start going back and smoothing those colors together. B00, so I'm working in reverse. B00 is next. I'm pulling that B12 out into that area, and I'm going back to B12, darken those bottom areas up because they weren't layered. It's just the B12 there. B double zero and then B with the four zeros. That's going to pull that B double zero out and soften that edge. I'm flicking out onto that area out above. And then the colorless blender is last. I have to go back and smooth that out again. So our next snow image is all complete. Um, again, I did a little bit of a background sky. Now, what you're seeing, because the image is still wet, is I had stamped this image on the other side of the card. You can see how saturated my ink is. Yay, that's what we're looking for. Um, but I'd stamped this card going this way, and then I decided, is there any chance that it will fit going the other way? So I tried it, and it does. Now, as this dries, um, where I've got the colorless blender meeting that B um, with four zeros, um, it's super wet right now. In fact, it's cool to the touch. Um, once that dries completely, you will not be able to see that. At least you shouldn't. Now, the only black I am seeing is I've got a smudge down here and one over here, and that is my poor stamping abilities. So not an issue with the ink showing through, but my inefficiencies as a stamper. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I love the way the snow turned out, and that was kind of a secondary thought by adding that extra layer of the colorless blender on top. Um, beautiful sky. I love how it turned out. So I hope, again, this is helpful, that these are the types of things you guys are looking for and asking for. Fun, fun image, again, by Stamping Bella. Um, I hope you are having a happy, colorful winter, and I hope you can join me again. Thank you. Bye-bye.